Game 5, round 11, but they get increasingly more dramatic. This is just so tense right now between both of these teams. Game five, round 11. Here we go. Here we are. Is it aggression or will it be a bit of a stall? Nate's tossed out early. Paul X, you could just feel it. He wants to get involved in the fight. He wants to get in there nice and early. Joe deceives tagged up as Paul grabs a bit more of that positioning. Continuous hit markers, but no kills as of yet. Oh, he gets punished. Exceed with the first blood. It comes through with the nade as Ravens left back to essentially distance themselves. Scraps, he's able to find one. Assault will also put one in the dirt. A quick 2v3. 2v3. All looked up to Nasty and Asim. Can they try to make it happen for the Ravens? As you know, both the SMGs for the Gorilla is going to be sitting nice and tight in towards this A-bomb. Dead Silence is going to get invasive by Asim. As Nasty's still trying to earn his. Oh. He gets right involved. He gets right involved. Jordan Seves ends up getting picked. It's a 1v1. A 1v1 for the game. Nasty versus Assault. 20 seconds to go. And Nasty has got to grab that bomb. But he's got some information on where Assault has been hiding. Then to go back for the objective or maybe not. Tosses oh. out the stun and gets the hit markers. Assault. He's off for a sprint. He's off for a sprint. And Nasty clutches it out for the team. A series that was built on clutches will end with one. Formal and Gunla start to push forward. The smoke arises. The tension Bans. starts to build. Oh, boys on the bomb, but Bans has just crept out of his position. And Green, he's gonna find one from Looney. Now Bans is still on the left-hand side. Gunless now desperately trying to make his way forward. 3v3. Neither team is able to make a bad step wrong here, but Bans, he's crept round the back! Benjamin Bans finds one! And not greedy, finds one, dips out, it's down to a 2v2. The substitute, can he go well, is all up to Bans. They know the positioning, and Formal is out of there. He's thinking he knows where Bans is, he's pushing straight through, but Bans has read it with 10 seconds. All he needs to do is make the kill. He's popped for dead silence. Can he get the player off the bomb? Yes, he's... Yeah! Stop it, my goodness! Whoa, they Saved. killed him! They killed him, they got the Saved. round! He couldn't, he couldn't get it down to the end. Bounce oh. was traded in the dying. Their winner's bracket run relies on this round 11. All right. Well, we'll see. Let me, uh, let me see. Who do you want to kick it off with right now? I mean, who who's on the hot uh, we seat We got to go you? with the attack. We have to go with the attack. Obviously, Gunjar is doing one hell of a job. Complex doing awesome as well. Fizzer trying to do the best he can, but man, I, I'm just not. You got to just go with the attack at this point. So right away, Denial does have a little bit of advantage here because they're on the defensive side of things. They don't technically have to push. And oh, where, is that a little, that's a little sneaky cat coming around on A. Maybe going for a full flank here on the members of Denial. But I doubt it can happen as the members of Envy slowly start to push into uh, the All right. Sovereign. Yeah, this is going to be into Sovereign. <laughs> they're pushing into the back. This is going to be huge. This is it right here. This is the play that's going to determine so much in this tournament for the team. <gasps> oh, oh, no. Oh, the gasping air, but they were able to get that no. flag down. And now that's going to make it into a 3v4. And Merc. He's got, oh, 3v3 now. They ended up losing a player, but still, they have that bomb down. They have that little bit of an advantage here. Let's actually see. So we have Rambo. He's going to be on the other side. He needs to be careful. Rambo oh. managing to get away from that one. Don't know how he gets picked off. Wow. Groupie, though, able to find another player. That's going to be connected. Oh. And a double kill for Groupie. Oh. oh, and he can't quite do it. Now it's going to be left up to Hanson Merck. Let's see what he could do here. Bombs down. This is when you play the clock, Gandhi. Yep. You play the clock. You do not let that other team have any kind of quarter. And he's going oh, to no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. And he's got he's it. He's going to get it. He's got it. Mean, I don't know. I, I he's going to get halfway it. there. He's going to have a couple seconds left on the clock. He's going to get there. And oh, he's got the win. God. And he's got the win. The oh, my goodness. It was to the second. The point one second. That is the moment that you want when you're playing competitive Call of Duty. Oh.
lucky by a bullet. Now though, this round 11, it's complexity on the attack. They went for an A push last round. It barely worked out. They're gonna go A again. RC set up on the window. They can try to isolate the player mid, and they do just that. Clayster falls shortly after. Tricky opens things up with two quick kills. Pristini now taking some heavy fire along the statue side staircase. Dashy here, you he knows he wants to challenge, but RC's he responded two kills of his own. What happened inside the bomb site for complexity? Pristini trying to find another over. Oh. RC fights three. It's off to Dashy on 1v1. And oh. he wins it. How do you win that 1v2? And you can see EU United furious. Please, With that Travis, result, how do you win this fight? Dashy just pre-aims, instantly snaps on Arceus. Bear in mind, Arceus won a miracle 1v2 in the site alone to kind of level up that round. It was a, a 4v2 in favor of Complexity. Arceus turns it all... What a rivalry these two teams have with each other. Outstanding matches. This is what the Call of Duty League is all about. Here we go, round 11. And they're taking it slow as well. Sent the most aggressive one of them. I have a BZ Chow with the attack for the first blood. You gotta get this trade. Gotta get the trade. Nathan there, 4 HP. Somebody's pop on him. Sim! Get two! He finds at least two of it. Sim now in trouble. Pred looking to apply the pressure. It's a 2v3. Simp and Slasher. Poles apart. Slasher trying to keep that bomb well out of the hands of Surge. We'll bomb down and tennis board for the moment. Simp is repositioning with Slasher. Wait. Sim's got the intel. And that's going to keep Slash's head down for a long time. Sim will reposition eventually, but until then... Oh, he's going to try the patience of the Mad Titan. Surge moving now into effect. Is this it? The second shot. Slash of reach house. He's holding the line. Nerves of steel. Here comes Sim. Strikes. Somehow stays alive. On the flank, it's Pred. Sim's done it. He finds another outrageous kill, and now it's all down to Sib. Dead silence activated. 20 seconds. He has to recover the bomb. Can he do it? Ah, this is it, dude. Sib, you want to beat the best, you got to be the best. And he just gets gunned to bed, tagged up, one shot, no time on the clock, and he's in a pinch. Here he comes. Good luck with this. Here he comes. Shut him down. Nice try. Seattle Surge. But it simply was not enough. Here we go again. And with what they had earlier from Scraps, how in the hell are we even in this scenario? Now think about it too. I think Octane's about to kill off of the camo. So if he finds a, a first blood or an opening kill, that could be the difference. He might be, he's, he's close. Very, very close. Well, here we go. Bomb being moved forward. LG with their typical scenario, slowly rotating over. Classic gets spotted by Tommy. He's so far out from the rest of his team right there. And that's the, that's the second time he's been first blooded in, in a scenario he probably shouldn't have. And now you're going to have to try and clutch up Tommy at the edge. Octane, if he can peek and get a kill, if he can tee somebody up, that is likely going to be the difference. One comes to mind. There's the camo. He's going to pop it immediately. That is the difference. Finishes one kill. He is going to drop. It's going to be a 2v1. Tommy's used the reactive armor. One on one. Just a little bit left here to deal with. Slacked. Tommy, 20 seconds up, and Tommy gets him! When you need Tommy most, the man is there. A rough series from him up to that point, but in round 11, Clutch is up for his team. Aids, utility, tossed out to start. John with the bomb. Now the subliners are made aware, but how much work can the thieves get done? Over toward the garage, utilizing Van is cover. Hydra tosses out the nade. Is it going to cause enough damage, though? For John, no. Plant is in. Now it all comes in to NYSL. How can they make the retake? Could it be on to Hydra? He has to go for the challenge early. Does it work out? It does. Clayster there, able to take down Kenny. John drops on the bomb. It is Clayster going big. That's going to be two for him. Draws his position is known, but where is Slasher? Where is Slasher hiding? Could he make the overall difference? Is 25 seconds is left. Mac is trying to find him. 20 seconds. Slasher looks to lay down some fire. Takes down Mac for the first, and they have to get on the bomb. 15 seconds. Ace him. He's running into the defuse. No one from the Thieves are looking to challenge. Can they get here in time? Can anybody take him down? They do. The Thieves are able to walk away with them both on the defuse. What a game and what an end. A two versus two moments away 
were the subliners from getting the ninja. Life yes. changing. People won't forget. Ninja. This will be, they'll tell their grandkids about this if they make this through. Round 11, Swarly with the bomb on offense. It comes down to just a couple specialists DT push and teams. DT, they tag oh, him for Center gets the first kill. Another player crosses a missed shot with the sniper Diabolic. He's trying to watch his back, does. Dino Seaman doesn't appear no, so no, as no. of yet. Still specialists available for these two squads. Killa finds another kill. It's a 4v2. Killa stepping up when his team needs a most. You have camo. You have glitch. They need to, they need to glitch, use. not the most impactful specialist, but camo. camo. It's gonna get popped right here, but doesn't he get it away. He immediately shoots, and just like that, he's holding on to Dino in a 1v3. It, oh my gosh, Dino, for everything you've worked for, here it all is. We got the Jumps on out. Did they hear it? Magic game falls off the yet. mat. Five to five, he'll begin to slowly enter the corner. Okay. Does make it a 1v2. Still does have ability. Left to use, how does he like guys to need use to play this together. one? He's gonna spot this player. Up. He's gonna does spot both of them. Switches on out. Back. Oh, on out. Back. 30 well, seconds well, remaining. Well, he earns himself another life. Down to these final moments is everything. Dito knows how important this is to clutch on him. Spots one, oh. it doesn't happen. DT win it around 11. And DT are back in the Call of Duty World League for State. Rounds, he's getting taken down by Silly in that round there. Like, they've lost, right? So, it's like he has to have an impact for them to get a round one. <laughs> Or if you send someone else, so he didn't make a play off of it. But then we go back to this 3 2 split yes. that we've seen. Decimate and Dylan lighting up, right? 10 for Decimate, 10 for Dylan. And this is a little bit different as well because they've been going to A. Wuskin puts away the sniper. Wants to be a little bit more effective on the retake situations with the Maddox. And they're just keeping reciprocity on their toes, they're seeing nothing. Well, this time, what are we doing here? I think they saw somebody at least. Last time it forced the well, AB rotate out or rotate towards us. They see nothing there. This time there's been a presence from Russell Brown. Right, so you see that bomb carrier. Yep, here Silly's it goes. going all the way around. This is and similar to Silly, silly plants. If Silly plants, he'll get grabbed. Alex as well. Alex needs a kill for TAC 5. You have a couple of players very close to specialists. Dylan might get caught. Well, Dylan done. gets caught. There's the first blood in V5v4. They can finally get the search and destroy win. But out comes Wuskin. Wuskin rips him off a bomb, getting wall paid, but gets out. Four versus four. 20 seconds. Somebody's got to get the bomb planted. Someone's got to pick it up. They're going to go again. for it. He checks oh, again. Yeah. Doesn't finish the kill. No lights out. They can't get it done. Envy. And now Hold with on. the numbers. He still has got to plant it. He doesn't get run, it through. Run. Two versus two. Tack five in. They run out. Joe. Horrible, but wow! Brazilian's actually very slow to come and help his teammates. He's just kind of sitting there behind that box. Gotta, gotta get this kill. Gotta get Nick, this Nick, kill. Nick, 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 Nick! Are you serious? Nick! Gotta get that kill. <laughs> no. Oh my. Uh, it's all up. left in Bill Belichick's hands. <laughs> it's all up to Rick here. He's gonna have to engage. He's gotta go. There's one. one, one. Oh, Heal up. 1v1. One one. Oh! oh Put on. He just <laughs> wait at the at the classics is that that snipers. Yeah. Pull out four snipes. Let's okay. just try it. That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. <laughs> I saw somebody was kind of close to streaks. I believe Octane, but I doubt it's gonna matter unless he somehow gets the first kill and an assist and calls in a streak or something absurd. And look at what Opti's doing. They've been playing so heavy on the A side. They're actually switching it up. They're playing heavy on the B. The John snipe. Oh, that scum. doesn't connect though. Yeah, and here we go. Here's the aggression. John's gonna find, yeah, he's in a lot of trouble. Almost wins a gunfight. It was almost, almost nasty, but Skump drops him. Formal has a lot to deal with, finds one, pre-fires the door, he's gonna get down now, three versus three. Has some help, but Skump wins another one. Octane able to find it, now it's on J-Cap in a one versus three. Luminosity, we're what, up five to three, but Optic come roaring back. It's not over so for J-Cap to make the clutch. 1v3, he spots Skump and he gets the kill. J-Cap with the 1v3 to win it. And LG finds something to smile about as Cap, the champ.
Sonic. DT on offense. Who are gonna see Chino was the one with the opening kill. I wonder he was how also many able to pick up that third as right well. Now. As he's nine and seven, doing a great job here late, and they're favoring this. Oh, look at this. Are they gonna do a huge flight here around? Chino gets first blood on Fell, and he reads him like a book in round 11. Here two straight comes. first bloods for Chino. This is it for CLG. You can see the RC car going through, so that might be able to give them some information that, hey, this side of the map is clear. Will they wind up pushing through? Doesn't appear it will happen as of yet. Diabolic. Still just keeping that HC alive. Where will he wind up pushing with it right now? Just using that third person to try to spot a player. No dice as of yet. The push towards middle map comes in. The HC chasing down a player in mid hasn't gotten it. As of yet, flat oh. jacket comes in. <laughs> BL Fire makes it a three on three. All right, going to watch Cinder. He's going to have it. his side covered, and that was one to drop two. It's going to be three versus two. Make it two versus two. This engagement is massive. There's another one in front of him. Cinder picks up. He's going to get pushed. 1v1. One versus one for round 11. Methods, welcome back to Call of Duty. This is the biggest stage you could have. He just used the HGXT. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get there in time. Methods right in the game. He gets it. Methods get Let's just see what we got. What do we got on either side? I know we have Tempest. Tip is for E United. That'll be it. And on the other end, nothing. A PZ is close to Shriek, though. Can he get a kill? Well, that's true. That's true. But can Clay? They're here. I mean, Accelerate's here. A PZ is going to have a lot of work to do. Can he hit Clay? Oh, he can doesn't hit, hit it. Not gonna... Oh, I thought they were going to push behind it. He just has to hit one. He just has to hit one. Oh, he almost gets stuck in the face. Ooh, not to 30 HP, but still up. But Plant comes in from Accelerate. Now E United. Have to retake the flank developing two for fastball. He hits one. So I attacked myself. Not gonna change anything. He's on it. Pristini is on it. Pristini's Almost there. Still on it. Almost there. Easy, believe he gets the kills and so that down to a 1v1. J Cap versus Beasy, exactly what I asked for! Lightning strike in. Lightning strike in and Cap wins! Don't shoot his body! Don't shoot his body! That's why you don't do it in game two. What did I ask for, Joe? I asked for a round 11, 1v1 <laughs> between Cap and BZ, and that's exactly what we got, Joe. Don't shoot his body. I think, well, the comms have got to be wild for Ultra. Now, how do we want to play this? Because look at the defense. You've got a four on two at both sites. Now, obviously, mm -hmm. they don't know the exact positions of phase, but if they pick and they hit, they've got the numbers. Cammy. Did you see Sim trying to rotate back and forth? Major Maniac as well, popping dead sides. They're very worried about their mid street. Praise the numbers to phase again. 20 seconds to go. You've got to be decisive here for your ultra. You've got to find an opening. Kleenex has a massive gunfight here. And he's able to win it. Abizi's going to get dropped. The dead silence is going to reset now for Kleenex. Three versus three. Bomb getting planted. Rallying over is going to be phased. Oh. And now they've got to make the retake happen. Three versus three. Kleenex is able to get away with his life. Methods with his second kill of the round. It's down to Major Maniac and Priesta to come up with the clutch. Major Maniac's tagged up. Priesta makes it a two versus two. Can they find Priesta's the opening? Got three on the round. Priest has got three on the round. What else can he find? 25 seconds, seven and a half seconds to defuse. Here goes Major Maniac. It's Kleenex to deal with. He finds the opening. It's 1v1. It's 1v1 and Methods clutches again. He goes huge for Ultra and they get their first home series victory. What a map five it was. Like, hey guys, you, you know, you're gonna talk, yeah, right? It's gonna be very important uh, in this matchup because it's, it's not gonna be great for the highlight reel. And uh, here we go, as we're looking now. This is it right here. This, this is a $20,000 round of Search and Destroy. Oh Just man, I know, you were, I know you were waiting to say that, I was dude. waiting to say that, dude. I know you were waiting five, to say five, that. Five, five, we called this 2-2, two, two, best of five, last round, last map, Search and Destroy standoff. We have Optic Gaming going up against Complexity, still four round. And Complexity is attacking. Yep. Keep that in mind. To mention, they're going to be oh, going towards man. this A, sorry, the B bomb Here site. Here smoke, and now the plant. TP needs that, but look at Optic Gaming adapting all those blue arrows. Oh, they, but out. they saw the smoke, they knew Bomb what's is gonna coming. Go down. Bomb this is going to go it. down. It is about to go down. Four seconds left. What can Optic Gaming do? Complexity have done so well to get that bomb down. 
TP's gonna be on the screen here. As you can see, three members of Optic Gaming all crowding around this B bomb site. TP's gonna do everything that he can. TP's gonna put some shots down. He's gonna be able to take one out. No, he does not. Big T's gonna be there for the clutch. Just see if Big T can continue to follow this one up, but Crim6 is gonna be there to take out Nate's shot. It is gonna be a 3v3, and Big T's gonna have that assistance here from Scum, but now it is gonna come down to Ace. Ace and out. Optic Gaming is moving on. Big. They're moving on to the top three. Oh my god, Benson. Scumpy with the three piece when it matters most. That oh. is why we call him one of the best players on the game right there. Oh my forget, god. Forget he was playing. He had two kills before this round. <laughs> he just hit three. Wow. Oh my the lord. The Jijin Ninja with you the kills. Couldn't. Scumpy just goes big. Look at that kill cam. Look at it. Look that at is, it. Bow down ridiculous. before this young man. Bow One. down before him now. Yeah, I, I when I see him, I will bow down before him. You can't go to B if you're no. dealing with the glide bomb. Cam, dude, th this is the problem. You just see everyone go towards A. But yeah, you have to go through mid. I love this call from Ultra. Then it's making a play. He gets oh the my. first blood. They have fire control. Oh, Benjamin, that's a massive tag as well in a sieve. And here comes the play. Glide bombs out. He's going to see Cammy. It might kill him through the open roof of fire. No, doesn't land a single thing. Seattle Surge maintain advantage for now as the bomb goes down on B. It's got to be Kleenex. Kleenex has to make this play. Vance has to win the one-on-one -on, -one on site because number two has gotten through. So someone needs to make the big play. Kleenex an opportunity. But that bomb is down. Seattle, I don't know if they know where either of these players are. But the Vance just saw Sim. I've got no idea that accuracy is close by. Kleenex finds one. 2v2. Accuracy's on the defuse. Vance. Oh my god. He's not, is he going to check it? Here comes Kleenex. Will he get it? The Iceman. The Iceman jumps on the bomb, and it was a fraction of a second. From getting the defuse instead, it's a game five, round 11 search and destroy. LG must win, or they are eliminated. And if you're LG, what do you do? You yep. gotta deal with the Hellstorm. You gotta deal with the lightning. The, the, it is just... The only thing you can do is hit something quickly. You cannot play passive. That isn't gonna work. You cannot try and buy time in the round. It, obviously, it depends on whether you're on attack or defense. I mean, if you're LG now, you just have to hit something. You, you can't second guess. You have to be quick. You have to try and find phantoms. If you can kill phantoms early, you stand a chance. Because at this point, you're phantoms. Sit at the back of the map. Ping your lightning. And the flip side for UYU, it just needs to be no one die. Play nice and passive. You can let them sit in mid-map all you want. You let them go to a site before you call the streak in. So don't nape yourself. You got to stay War alive. War Machine Saints is actually earned that too. So even if you funnel through lobby, you could be in trouble if you don't have flak. Again, for me, Phantoms is massive. He's actually going to invest the lightning strike now. So they have all the information in the world. War Machine still out. LG, you're back is truly against the wall. The War Machine again out, connects with a couple of hit markers. John tries to fly through, but it's a team kill. Saints is shut down. Blast, who was also close to streaks. It's all going wrong for UYU. You have to use the Hellstorm, but Formal could actually shut down Phantoms. He needs to be careful not to team kill himself. He's run straight over him. He trades. Now it's a two versus one. Skies, last man up. Spot Saints has him one shot. Methods is there as well, but he scrambles away. 20 seconds left, and Skies must plant the bomb. Methods is going to see him. Shots go down. He hopped off bomb, though, and Methods is going to know it. Methods is going to have to come out for the challenge. Nine seconds left. Does Methods fly? Does Methods fly to try to take this gunfight? You can't wall bang it. He's waiting he for him no to stand cover. up. Skies is one shot. Skies scrambles away. Ring around the rosy. Methods. Is he going to be able to win it? This is the most nerve wracking 1v1 you may ever see. Skies one shot. Methods challenges. Skies still scrambles away. Slide forward! Oh my god! It. LG! LG, stay alive! Oh, oh my god! What? He just gets evaporated! That's the first blood for Optic. Now, what can you do behind it? The utility coming in over the top, it's not gonna connect. The opening in the defense is there for Optic. Set up behind the They're bar. all here. All of Chicago's here. They're all inside. They're here of on the bar. cross. There's the first kill from Scum. That's gonna be bombed down. The peak comes in from Hollow. What a gunfight when that is. It's madness inside of the B house. Scum's just trying to finesse, trying to get the kill. Envoy gonna peek from outside. The challenge is gonna come in. Scum's gotta reload. No one can finish the kill. Arsenis picks up two. It's all gonna be on TJ now. 1v1! And what has been winning? Envoy gets the kill in the 1v1! And they move on! Damage, but can't get the kill.
But again, Joe, some of these matches were casting round 11. It all comes down to this. And you know, Rocker, they're thinking last one, we had that team kill versus Empire. Not again. Let's make the play. Let's close this out. No small mistakes. They'll have defense for it. A right back VA execute. Goes Optic Chicago. And I mean, why not? They, they've been great here. There's only two players here. It's Danny and Priesta. Danny, the lurking lower. He's lurking. He's lurking. He's not going to see anything. It's going to be a wrap. It's going to be right back to B. And this is huge for Rocker. They two set this up. It's accuracy. It's attach on globe. This is kind of a trap right now. It's a bit of a trap. Accuracy oh. gets the information. They go right back up the escalators. Think of the information you're getting. Standy by kind of peeking. The rotation back is the info. They're not still there. Accuracy gets the peak. They realize they're wrapping back. Like they're getting so much information. Oh, but one. that might be what matters. Dashy hits the shots. Scum puts one down. Accuracy. Numbers. No, he wins the gunfight to make it interesting. It's going to be a Taps trying to rally across. He's going to hit X's. Scump is just holding. Scump is just holding. Wins the fight. Accuracy, though, they line up. They line up for accuracy, and he wins it. Are you kidding? Accuracy with the ice. Are you kidding me? The nade hits formal. The first blood on the envoy. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. They were all together. That is un. Unbelievable. Round 11, game five, loser goes home. On the offensive, it is going to be Optic Gaming and something to keep in mind too. Karma does have that active camo if he does opt to use that one. Pembi getting very close to the Centurion and then the FTL jump is going to be ready for profit. We're gonna see similar from what we've been seeing for Optic Gaming for the aggressiveness. Panda is not holding back. They're gonna be able to pick up first blood. It's gonna be fastball clean. That one, the Flechette Grenade is gonna come in, but Karma is gonna burn the active camo. It is gonna pay off. They're gonna be able to get a kill. Two versus two situation. Fastball going up against Karma. Loser goes home. Let's see how this one does play out. Fastball rotating all the way back to Optic Gaming spawn. Karma is gonna be positioned in mid-map. The pressure is on, the stage is set. Just one minute remains. It's all down to a one versus one. Karma versus Fastball and no payloads. The camo was already used. The bomb is down on middle map. Karma, he's smelling blood. He's checking his corners. Fastball are hugging this one though. And just as he looks away. Oh my goodness. Karma has no idea where he's at. The players Neither just, of these players have a read on each other. They just ran right side by side. Fastball just doing everything he can to try to stay alive. Karma grabs Nobody the bomb, though. On the objective, yes, we get the notification there. The bomb has been picked up. Rotating all the way around to B. He's going to be good to plant this one. Fastball still just playing inside the Optic Gaming spawn. The bomb is going to go down. Things are looking good for Optic Gaming right now. The Scarab can come into play as well. Probably not the best thing to use in the one versus one. Fastball immediately rotating through that middle map area. We could have a gunfight coming down here to decide if fastball spot Karma. That is the question. Oh, look. Karma's going to be right on the other side of the wall. We can see it through X-ray. My heart is racing, and Karma there is, is. going to come out. Oh. on either side we're seeing straight gun on gun i don't think we have any score streaks in play either it's all going to come down to tactical play and information gathered in the last 10 rounds the last time we had a round 11 lace field was able to pick up the ace neither team wants to give any ground so fearful of that first blood cloud nine has been able to convert multiple times you can see players from optic gaming slowly creeping up the map again just trying to sniff out where these opposing players are coming to be coming from. Crimson's going for the standard. Two players' positions are now known. 53 seconds. Black jacket, perfectly okay. Nothing wrong with that. You can eat some nades in Call of Duty. It'll be fine. Players all the way in the back. You see Assault. This could be the player that's watching. Or that B-bomb cross. He's able to spot one player. Knows something's going on. You see C9 is aware. They are going on that rotation. They're going to be hitting as well. Assault's going to be coming over the top. Bomb player's going to die. Crim6 is going to fall as well. 2v4. Karma informal. You have your work cut out for you. 30 seconds. That bomb is down. C9 has a very nice setup as well. Formal's able to pick up one. He's not going to get traded out as well. Karma doesn't get the second. Player coming and challenge over top. Formal's going to be able to help him out. Karma going for the kill. Oh. Formal up to you. 1v1 situation. Assault coming over. Oh. And Assault. Way to go. 1v1. Optic Gaming, we will see a fudging later. C9 able to clutch up in the end, and what a performance that was. All the way Ladies down to the gentlemen. AR battle, and that is going to be it. Congratulations.